Good afternoon, everybody. Um, I'm Charles uh, Rin's brother, and I'm delighted to, to be here. Uh, I wanted to thank uh, Martin and uh, Pam and uh, Roberta and Victoria. Uh, I know Rin would have been uh, delighted uh, to have you all here, and um, very pleased with uh, the love and admiration that you all have shown for him and all that he accomplished in his life. I also want to express my particular thanks uh, to Rin's close friend, colleague, and co-author, uh, Christina Abu Suzuki. Despite all the sadness of Rin's death, it has been a pleasure to get to know Christina better and through her to gain uh, more insight into Rin and his wife's work. Christina and Rin shared many interests, principles, friends, and experiences. She understands and contributes uh, greatly to his work his enjoyment of life, and his dedication to the welfare of others. I am grateful for all that she has done and continues to do to keep Rin's memory and legacy alive and carry on his important work. Rin was my half-brother, uh, the oldest of my father's four sons. And he was named for my father, who died two years ago at age 96. Rin was raised by his uh, mother and grandmother and was close to his mother's other children including uh, Gislaine and Sigurd, uh, who send their love and greetings from Miami, Florida, where Rin spent much of his childhood. When Rin uh, came north to college to the University of Pennsylvania, he connected with my family here in New York, and we saw him regularly after that. He bore an uncanny uh, physical resemblance uh, to my father, who was a handsome, athletic, and intelligent man born in Hollywood, California, just a few years before the movie industry moved from Astoria, Queens. Uh, Dad uh, came east to college and law school and never looked back. Uh, like our father and my entire family, Rin loved New York as a world city. Rin and my dad and my brothers Elliot and Peter and I all shared a love of writing. Rin was the most prolific writer of the Barry Men, and I'm sure you know and have enjoyed some of his books. Mm -hmm. He brought a scholarly thoroughness and precision to his historical studies of vegetarianism, veganism, and the animal rights movement. His writing and his conversation was also distinguished by his playful sense of humor, his broad vocabulary and colorful turn of phrase. He was erudite, with a broad knowledge of and interest in history, science, and literature. And he was very well traveled, with a particular interest in India and Brazil, both of which he visited many times. Rin's love of travel and writing uh, led him to encourage my father, when he was in his early 90s, to write a memoir about a 10-month trip that my father made around the world in 1937 and 38, just on the eve of World War II, uh, which he published privately just a few years before he died. Rin was a voracious reader and amassed a remarkable collection of books, including an important archive, as Martin mentioned, of materials on the history of vegetarianism, in addition to a wide range of other subjects. Rin's love of books and learning <coughs> brought him to join a library that has been an important uh, part of uh, my family uh, for many years, known as the New York Society Library, of which I was the chairman of the board for eight years. It's actually the oldest cultural institution in uh, continuous operation in New York City, having been founded in 1754 when the population of New York was 15,000 people, a fact that no doubt delighted Rin as a historian. Uh, Rin was well known and well beloved at this distinguished library and frequently visited with his backpack bulging with books to return <laughs> or pick up. Rin was a private person, modest in his tastes and temperament, and well-mannered and thoughtful to others as he expected others to be of him. At the same time, he did important and visible work in the public arena. For many years, I lived in a loft in Chelsea with uh, my wife and sons, who I'm pleased are here with me today. And we would frequently walk through Union Square and see Rin at the table he set up to sell his books and talk with interested passers-by on the subjects he knew and loved. At family gatherings with Rin, many held at our apartment, he would often bring Martinelli's apple cider to celebrate, and I bought a couple of bottles to share today in his memory. Uh, I always enjoyed making vegetarian dishes that I hoped might pass muster with him. <laughs> I remember one dish in particular that he appreciated. I got a medieval recipe from the New York Times, uh, and I don't remember all the ingredients, but they included pomegranate and eggplant. 
Um, Ring was an ardent and effective animal rights advocate, as you know. A few years ago, we enjoyed discussing together an interesting case I worked on as a lawyer, in which I represented uh, on a pro bono basis the Humane Society of the United States in connection with the charitable trust created by Leon Helmsley. Wren had a good understanding of the legal issues and the historical difficulties charitable, uh, of upholding charitable requests for the benefit of animal welfare. My brothers and I also shared with Wren a love of Indian food, and sometimes I joined Wren at a restaurant he recommended and was trying to scope out for his guide. On one particular occasion, uh, the four of us brothers, Wren, <coughs> Elliot, Peter, and I, had a cheerful vegetarian lunch at the Jewel of India on 44th Street, which no longer exists, um, in memory of our mutual friend Bill Henry, who was a Pulitzer Prize winning journalist and uh, critic, uh, who was a close friend of all four of us. Uh, the last meal I shared with Rin was when we were together with my cousins and others on Christmas Eve. He was excited about his upcoming trip to Brazil, and it was heartening to reflect, it is heartening to reflect, on his happy demeanor and the laughs we shared on that occasion. <clears throat> As you know, uh, Rin never made it to Brazil uh, this time, but died after suffering a heart attack while running in Prospect Park. As I think uh, you know, uh, and as Martin has said, my brother Peter also died uh, while running uh, just a couple of weeks after Rin in Central Park. Uh, the loss of both dear brothers in close succession. Some five years after my older brother Elliot died, has been hard on the family and all those who knew and loved Rin and Peter. Peter was also a scholar and a deep and thoughtful reader, as well as a gracious and well-mannered man. He shared with Rin a love and understanding of the classics, uh, as well as of India and its, its culture and customs. Both were devoted and advanced practitioners of yoga. Peter was terribly upset when he heard of Rin's death. Through all these sad events, I have found comfort in learning more about how much Rin touched so many lives. Seeing all of you here today underscores what the full life he did have. My family and I are most grateful for your support and your appreciation of my kind and brilliant brother, Rin. Thank you.